The herbaceous border is one of the showiest and most colorful rooms at Dumbarton Oaks. The borders of English stately homes in Gertrude Jekyll's garden ornament consisted mainly of perennials. But the Dumbarton Oaks borders also involve annuals interspersed with the perennials for the summer season. In the spring, bulbs are planted. In the fall, yellow helianthus complements the pale purple asters and the bright chrysanthemums. And in the winter, the beds are flat and many plants lie dormant underground. The planting scheme still largely follows the flowers chosen by Beatrix Ferrand in 1928. Two Irish yew trees stand at either end of the borders, nicknamed Mr. Yew in the east and Mrs. Yew in the west. They amusingly represent Robert and Mildred Bliss in plant form. The backbone of the garden is the yew hedge that runs behind the borders. It's almost invisible when the flowers are in full bloom, but Jekyll wrote, The rich dark green of a hedge of yew or holly is a noble background to bright flowers. Farron found keeping the upright Japanese yew hedge healthy a headache and considered replacing it with a wall. But today the gardeners of Dumbart Noak still maintain the yew hedge. On the hill overlooking the border stands a small orchard of fruit trees, including apples, cherries, and a plum. In recent years, the garden has returned to the idea of keeping a small but productive orchard, with not just apples, but a cherry and a pear tree as well. 